Behesti and I'm a UCSC PhD candidate in the Ramundi lab and the Wasson labs here at UCSC. And I do all my research in Elkhorn Slough looking at salt marsh loss and seagrass beds and ecological uh, implications of both. Badalaria removed Cerithidia, the native mud snail, completely from Elkhorn Slough. They are absent from the estuary. So that in itself is a negative of their invasion. Outside of that, there are a few negatives um, because they occupied the same niche that the Cerithidia occupied. So it was a pretty clean cut replacement. So in Elkhorn Slough, we had really high green crab densities in the upper reaches of the estuary. Green crabs are extremely invasive. They can get really big. They occupy it both subtidal and intertidal habitat. And if crabs are, are operating beyond their carrying capacity, there might be this increase in predation on battle area that otherwise went undetected because the crabs are at an unusual density. In these areas of the slough, it just so happens that these places where they've reintroduced full tidal flow into portions, little pockets that have previously had tidal gates, they're restricting the flow. In areas where those have been removed and full tidal inundation has been allowed, there's fewer battle area. And we don't know if that's because that's a more hospitable environment for crabs, which I've done trials that show that these, the Pachygraxis, the lion trail crab, is eating these battle area snails. So I'm unsure if it's a crab component or if it's the crab and the tidal influence and that these snails really thrive in tidally restricted zones. And that's why you only see them in the upper reaches of the slough where you visited and not near the harbor or in these really high velocity areas. So it could be that a mitigation or a way to get rid of battle area snails would be to restore the historic tidal flow into these areas that are have really high like in the thousands per meter squared or per half meter squared uh, densities of battle area is if you reintroduce full tidal flow then maybe they don't like that maybe it dislodges them maybe um, they're uh, crawling babies get swept away and, and, and don't succeed. I don't know what the mechanism is, but it seems like a decrease in tidal flow correlates with an increase in battle area densities. And when you increase tidal flow, you have a decrease in battle area densities. If you were to remove battle area from the system, could you reintroduce the Cerithidia native and would they be able to thrive in the absence of battle area? And then you'd be increasing native biodiversity, which is always a good thing.